Hi guys, I'm Matthew Carr of Southeast Games and this is a quick demo of our new developer console release on the Unity Asset Store. Uh, this video will show you how easy it is to add to any project and how useful it is both during development and in the final release of a game. I've led up the Unity Bootcamp demo scene and now I'm simply going to add the developer console package from the Asset Store. Uh, this here is the package and in the package you'll find an example scene giving some information on how to use the console a user manual giving detailed information on the various aspects of the console and the script itself now adding the console to your project is just one step you drag it into any game object in the scene now if I hit the play button you see that I have the ability to bring up the console and begin manipulating any object in my scene by changing variables properties and calling methods with parameters you can input any number of parameters for a function with space separation the console currently supports common data types for parameter input and more can be added in the future. You see here we also have an intuitive IntelliSense style autocomplete system which will filter based on what you're typing. So let's move this soldier to 0, 100, 0 by inputting a vector 3 and you can see our soldier is now falling back down. The benefits of having access to all of your variables and methods while running a game during development are obvious, but the console also works for your end users. You can also use alias terms which provide you an alternate way of inputting strings so that you can make inputting common functionality easier through shorter strings or you can limit users to just these alias terms making the console very similar to uh, those you'd see in PC games like Quake or Half-Life. You see now I'll add a alias term called camera blur which actually refers to the method camera blur on the game object game manager the component game manager and there's the you know, camera blur method. Now when I play the console will not only give me access to the camera blur method but it will put it in the IntelliSense list and I can call it with parameters just as I would the regular phrase. The developer console will continue to evolve and improve. Already you can easily customize the graphical styles of the console to suit your project through changing the Unity GUI skin that it uses and modifying a range of adjustable settings. We hope you'll find it as useful as we do and please give your feedback and suggestions on any new features you'd like to see added on the Unity forum.